continuing our coverage of the Serious Games Challenge Showcase. I'm here with uh, Greg uh, from Forge FX, and we're talking about uh, you know your new uh, Serious Games. So tell me a little bit about your company, how long you've been in business, things like that. Okay, Forge FX has been in business for about eight years. We specialize in 3D simulation and custom game development. Uh, we're located in San Francisco, California, and we're here today at the Serious Games demo to showcase virtual walking the pens. Yes. Well, if you could, um, tell me how many people were involved in the project, who is the project developed for? Okay, the project was about eight to ten developers spread across programmers and artists, and it was developed for Pfizer Animal Health, which is one of the four divisions of Pfizer. Okay, that's excellent. People are going to be voting on all these games uh, throughout the show, so I wish you guys the best of luck. But if you would, um, let's, let's take a look at the demo. So, Greg, I hear some great sound effects, and I, I, I see the, the hogs in the, I was in the farrowing house or something here, so, or finishing house, I guess. So tell us about the uh, demo here. Absolutely. So this is a real-time 3D environment that simulates a pork production facility. Um, and what we're doing here is we're treating or we're teaching farmers how to identify and treat illnesses in the barn. Uh, the game's broken up to a number of different scenarios. Uh, in this one, we're dealing with, I believe, uh, mulberry heart syndrome. Here you can see there are a number of pigs that are coughing. Uh, there are some that are uh, showing lethargy. Uh, so as I approach them, I'm going to kneel down and they should get up and move. And in this case, they do. If the pig hadn't moved, they would be in a real bad state. Um, with these sick pigs, you can see that their skin is discolored. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and treat and mark some of them. So I can click on any pig, as you can see, and then choose what I'd like to do. For this guy, I'm going to treat him and mark him. I'm going to paint him to show that he's been treated. I can also then move him to a fallout pen to separate them so that disease doesn't spread. And so what's the feedback been uh, on the game so far from Pfizer and also from people, uh, perhaps farmers, that have used it? Feedback's been great. Um, we've found that a lot of the barns are talking back and forth to each other, trying to figure out how they found solutions within the game, and then making those solutions work in the real world as well. Greg, that's excellent. So it's interesting to me to see that uh, you know you're using this technology for farmers to communicate. I guess I never thought of farmers, you know, using any type of games. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, it's you know an immersive environment keeps them engaged with the materials so much longer than videos or other promotional material would. So they spend more time with it and learn more. That's great, and the sound effects are awesome. So if nothing else, hey, the sound effects will definitely win you a prize. Yeah, well, you know, just being here is the prize alone, so we're happy to be part of the whole show. That's awesome. We'll just start continuing coverage here from the Serious Games Challenge area at ITSEC 2010. More to come.